All right, everyone, welcome on into Out and About, episode number 44. I think we have someone very special here with us today. Um, she's a big pro life 2A <laughs> supporter. She's a lesbian from Maine. She's a comedian. Uh, she's hilarious. She's friends with Karen Fian, who we had on the Woo! program a couple weeks ago. It is Emma Wilman. Elma, welcome. To Thank the you show. so much. I appreciate that. Thanks for having me. How was that intro? That was great. I intro you as a lesbian from Maine. Thank you very much. Which I, I, I'm so sorry for the mental picture everyone has right now. I can't even imagine. <laughs> They're going to watch could... it. It's going to oh, be on good. YouTube. Because okay, okay, yeah. okay. if you pick... Because <laughs> if you picture, and no, no, no shade on any lesbians. When I think lesbian from Maine, the first thing that comes to my mind <laughs> is, <laughs> is here we go. <laughs> this woman. This is based off of maybe the first lesbian I've seen in Maine. So this is where it's coming from. This woman who worked at a gas station near in my hometown. She ran it like the Navy too. She ran, you know oh, she did. You know she, she was did. A beast. But I remember like going through the gas station for some reason. I was crying about something and eating Swiss rolls. And I just remember her looking at me, and she was like, "What's up?" And then I remember seeing her like wife come out, and they looked exactly like, and they issued the car hearts, and she was fucking big jacked woman, and that's what I pictured. And that's when you knew. That's <laughs> you know. Then I was like, I'm straight looking, but <laughs> but yeah. That's funny that they look like a lot of gay guys I know date people who look exactly like them. <laughs> Not to be, I always get so confused with that because I'm like, there's got to be some yin and yang, right? Yin and yang. And actually, last night I was on I was on a date and she was talking about. This, this couple she knew, she said they're exactly alike. I said, well, there's got to be a yin and yang. She said, nope. I said, give me the picture. I'll tell you within two seconds. I was stumped. Why? Because they look Couldn't so much tell. alike? Yeah. When you go on a date with someone, is it when lesbians go on dates, is it like I'm going on a date to hook up? Or is it more like a serious? Because I rarely go also- on a date where it's like... I'm going to meet my husband. It's like, sure. oh, you're just doing this. But that's gay guys. I don't right. know if it's different. Now, I usually don't – now, I have I, I don't really go for a lesbian. I go for a bisexual because I like to – like ex- sexually, exclusively, I like to role play that I'm a guy. And I'm also pretty kinky for lesbians. <laughs> I feel sexually restricted and uh, I feel restricted in many ways with lesbians. So I, I have a whole system of sussing out to try to weed out people. What's the system? Oh, it's a whole system. You don't, we don't have to no, get I'd into it. I'd love to tell yeah, you. No, yeah, no, I'm interested in it. And you right. also said you're kinky for a lesbian. Are lesbians typically vanilla in bed? I have no idea. All I know is sometimes when I'm talking, people are like, I don't know, lesbians had sex like this. I'm like, yeah. don't make me speak for anyone else because, you know, I can't. I don't want to put that on the whole community. Uh, yeah. But I support <laughs> lesbians, good for lesbians. Like, that's so great. I'm into it. It's just not, that's not, for, it's too gendered of a term for me. I feel sometimes like I'm so gay, I don't even think about being gay even. What do you mean? Like, I don't think about, I'll think about it. I can't it. stop thinking about it. Really? It's always on my fuck. And it's partially it's because I work here. It's mm. like every three seconds I'm getting that I'm gay shoved in my face. I can't get away right. from it. And that's, so yeah, so the, it t- that makes total sense. So yeah. that's when I'll think about being gay too. Or, or it's like also you probably have, because you are straight passing, I think. Yeah, for sure I am. You know, so then you, it makes you have to, and I, I date, would only date someone that is totally straight passing. Only? What, have you ever dated like a really butch lesbian? You do femme. But you're not either. You're like I look at you and it's like okay, lesbian, but it's not like you're femme or you're butch. But the you're energy, just kink. the energy would have to be more masculine for me. And, Absolutely. And I don't want to hint. I call them sneaky man ones, mm. where I don't want to hint. It's got to be so fat. It's the, I want. It, it's such a sliver of a subset where I want. I'm a lot of my friends are straight women, and the, and I'm not attracted to straight women. Not really into lesbians. So it's like bisexuals. Who want to get like pounded out? Love cock, thick, 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 thick. We're gonna talk about them getting fucked every which way. Um, but do you think that? But they're in the me too. So it's a, it's a real, it's a niche market. It's a niche it is market. A niche market. How do you find them? Well, I got a system, but I don't not well. But it's, are you on apps? Like, I, are you was, on Tinder? Yeah. Are you on Bumble and all this shit? I like, used to do Tinder. I hate this. I hate the. I hate. The talk, I hate like talking. I hate this. I know no one likes to talking. I don't do great on the apps. Like, I just. But this I'm, is. I'm sorry to interrupt you, but oh. this, these fucking sirens. This makes me want to jump in front of a train. Hold I can on. only imagine. It's gonna be picked up in the back. Do you guys hear that? Of course they Ooh. do. And how? Think of. <laughs> Welcome to New York. All right. Think of anyway. too how in it with media we are. That the first thing. That we hear when we hear a siren, like someone's like in a fire or dying, is we're like our fucking. It's annoying. We're yeah. tra- it's I am annoyed. <laughs> They'll be fine. No one dies in fires anymore. But what were you what were you saying? You were saying you have a system. You're not good on talking on apps. Mm-mm. 
so you just meet people in person? And I feel like. I don't like- meet a lot. I, I've been in like relationships kind of back to back. And then, but the last couple girlfriends I've had have all been through apps. But like, I fuck, I used to like, my, my, but my system is more pertained to trying to see if I'll match up with someone sexually. That's where I've got a system. And, and that's I, what I'd you look for you. first. <sighs> it's so complicated, Pat. Okay. Because I was in really sexual relationships that weren't really like emotionally fulfilling. So then I shifted gears and was in these like emo- these relationships that were more like well-rounded. Uh-huh. And like, I did feel more like, like if I look back, like the ones where I'm like, oh, that was a great relationship. But then there'd be like the sexual component missing. And then, I'm not saying it's right. And I'm in therapy, but I did, uh, I've, I've uh, meandered. What, is, what does that mean, meandered? Gone out in the pasture. you gone out in the pasture? H- fucked home in the range. What? Wait, what are we I talking don't, about I don't, here? I cheated. Oh, you cheated. Yeah. What's a way, to, what's like a softer way to say cheated? Is there like a Home saying? wrecked. Oh. Ruined a life. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Because you're a kinky bitch. And okay. we're going to and we're gonna talk about oh, I this. I think I am. I don't know. But no, I'll... you are. You are. Okay, okay. And I got just the thing for you. And okay. we're going to talk about it a little bit and more. And I'll tell you how I try to suss out to see if someone is too. In a second. Uh, I got to talk to you guys about Adam and Eve. AdamandEve.com yes. says the best part of staying at home is playing at home. Take advantage of the downtime and choose almost any one item for 50% off. And when you do, you'll receive free shipping delivered directly to your door. Just remember to use code ABOUT. That's a code BOUT at checkout. Out adamandeve.com has thousands of products to make you feel uh, glad that you're staying at home. Sex toys make being at home so much more enjoyable. Hell, even shopping for sex toys from home is more enjoyable. So go to adamandeve.com and use offer code ABOUT for almost 50% off any one item plus free shipping. That's adamandeve.com, offer code ABOUT for 50% off almost any one item plus free shipping. Okay. I'm going to fucking do that 50% off? You should. Do you have sex toys? Yeah, of course. From Adam and Eve, code ABOUT. Absolutely. Do you use them in the bedroom? Absolutely. Did it last night. Oh. Yeah. You know, you're dating someone now. Yes. Now I'm making my, now I had not been in a sexual relationship for quite a while, but recently I've been, I've been using sex toys and I used to get really uncomfortable going into the, like a toy store. And so I would have loved this back <laughs> right. in the day. Cause I remember when I first did it, I felt really nervous. And I remember I was in San Francisco and I was, I went and sat across from a sex store and I sat outside at a cafe and I was like eating and drinking coffee, looking at the store, too nervous to go in, circling the block. And I in couldn't. In San Francisco? Why were you so, you're go, it's not like so you're going nervous. to like Blue Room on yeah. Chelsea or whatever the hell that place is. <laughs> oh, I know. Okay. That place. It's disgusting. If, if it's the place I'm thinking of, it is so fucking, that's scary for a different reason. That's yeah. scary because you go in syphilis or you just go right, in. It's right, right. Like, it's like the Craigslist. If Craigslist was a, that store is really scary looking. I used to hook up with guys off Craigslist. Oh, oh I've gone on Craigslist dates too. Am I allowed to ask? What, I know that you've yeah, probably you gone can, over, but have you? Um, so, but like, so what kind of guys do you like? I like lanky, funny Irishmen. Really? Yeah. So myself. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I like Fair. myself. Mine is the funny. Uh, where? The, no, no. The, um, the, like, like that's I've good for you. Yeah, uh, that's. But I'm really just at this point. It's pretty much just anyone who will love me back. I get that. That's that's where we're at. Like I get I'm that. not very picky. Mm. And going into summer, I kind of want to like maybe lock someone down, but yeah. maybe not. But I'm into. You need to have someone kind of knock your socks off too. Yeah. You know. What's the most serious relationship you've been in? Oh, <sighs> okay. I've been in a <laughs> lot of relationships, but I've been reading a lot recently about like. I've been reading about, I tried reading about, or I have been reading about love addiction, compulsive behaviors, because my pattern was this. I would get in a relationship and I would be gone a lot and then I would kind of cater myself to try to win the person over and never stop and think, do I like this person? Are they a good partner, a good partner for me? Like, I, my self-respect wasn't super high up on the list. Right. So now I've had to strip it all back and be like, okay, what what do I like? What is What is important to me? And also acknowledging like, I think I tried to pretend for a long time that sex wasn't as important to me as it is. Someone said this I thought was helpful. They're like, sex isn't everything in a relationship, but if you don't connect, if you don't connect sexually, then it becomes a much bigger part of it because there starts being like a disconnect there. Right. You know. What's your number? Oh, I don't know. Wait, we could. Fi- um, I'm in. It might take me a second. <laughs> you don't. You okay. Don't, you don't have to. You don't have but to. But I'd say that. like thirty or forty something, maybe. Yeah. I'm just more curious about, like, the differences between gay guys dating and lesbians dating. And I promise we're not going to talk about gay, lesbian stuff. I'm so curious about that, too. All the time. Oh, I love that stuff. But I just find it so, like, interesting. I've been going on a bunch of dates lately. Which is great. And you mean dates like you're going out to dinner? I just do drinks. 
Okay, great. But I, it's not like come over fucking No, no, wham, no. I mean, man. there is like some of that, right. sure. And like you can typically tell when you meet someone within like five minutes, like, mm-hmm. okay, are we just going to like fuck? Or how much are we do you gonna... chat first? A lot. Me too. A lot. Oh, Me like too. how much, like how long does the conversation you, go? Like when you're doing the texting online before you instigate the meeting up, is it a bunch or? It depends on the app. If it's uh, like, gr- <laughs> <laughs> it depends very much, oh, okay. very much on the app. You, I didn't know. Yeah, that makes sense. That if makes it's sense. like grinder, like. Right. Let's keep it to a minimum. Like, okay. As long as you don't have HIV, like we're wow. like, we're good to go. Huh. Um, and just being completely honest, but like Tinder, you'll chat more. Sure. There are tiers. It goes like Grinder, Tinder, Hinge, mm. and then there are some other ones. But I chat like a bunch, and then a typical date will be go out for drinks. Right. Try not to get too drunk. Yes. Because I just want to. When I go out, I can't just have one beer. I like, know. I stopped drinking for that very reason. You're sober. Love to drink, but so now don't drink. For how long? It's. Uh, I think now it's been seven months. I've been in and out of drinking, not drinking for a while. But each time that I've gone out, or w- or would be considered off the wagon, would be <laughs> has gotten shorter and shorter. How long? Uh, so you were an alcoholic, or you just out of control? You could. You couldn't sit down and have one. It would be, you know what it is, they say, it's not necessarily like what you do, it's like why you're doing it. So I would do it to escape myself and just like, I, I would do it for so many different reasons, but like a, it would, it was like kind of like the solve, like, you know, you know, the, when you put an ointment on, yeah. it's like supposed to be a, that's what a solve is, yeah. I think, S-A-L-V-E. It was like the thing, it was the lubrication for my life and it just got totally out of hand many times. Out of hand in what sense? You would get blacked out drunk? It would be like, I was just drunk all all the time, and and I remember a couple of times where it was like a real tipping point. I remember, I remember there's this one show I was doing. It was a Talking Head show, which is where like your head just pops up on the screen, and you're like, oh, she wore what or whatever it was. Yeah. And I remember doing it. And I was always so. I would go in there so. I don't think the show ever aired. It was, I was always so fucking hungover, <laughs> and they cut me from it. And they said they cut me because they're like, you're not urban enough, which. Fair. I'm not right. urban yeah. any amount. Well, you're almost albino. <laughs> Pretty much. So I was yeah. like shocked. I was like, it took six episodes for you to figure out that I'm not urban. Like, what? Right. The, are you guys drunk? But I was like, either it, it could, it's that, I'm sure. But also, I'm hungover all the time. And I never want to wonder if it's because I'm so hungover. Like, I could feel my brain not working. Right. When I, there, I, cause I come in and be like, uh. What did you drink? I, so what I ended up drinking was, it would always be vodka sodas, Patron, anything Ugh. that would make me the least amount hungover. And right. I was, I gained weight for a while too. I was ballooning out of control because I'd have, I mean, I, I would say for me, the cocktail would be, I would have like two to three vodka sodas and then a couple beers. That's a lot at night. And you're not big. You're 125 pounds. Right. We talked about this before. before. I guess her weight. Yeah. Like a, yeah. Like like a true a, gentleman. Like a gay man. <laughs> yeah. How much do you weigh? Who yeah. are you dating? Yeah. Show me your girlfriend. Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> within three seconds of here, I'm just judging you physically. Yeah. 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 Um, that's funny. See, I. Yeah. What's your drink? Don't. I'll drink well, anything. I was going to get The thing scotch. is about me is that I just love I just love it. Yeah, I love scotch. It. <laughs> That's scotch what I was and think. gin. Scot- an old, I'm drink like an old woman, like the Queen of England. <laughs> yeah. Scotch and gin. I, I mean, I'm not an alcoholic by any means. Sure, sure. But I very much I enjoy used to a say drink. The same thing. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> oh, mom, you go, Mrs. McCullough, yeah. please come in. My family walks in <laughs> yeah. for intervention. It's an inter- <laughs> could you imagine if that was recorded? I mean, that I could would. Be... I might get get all sauced up just so that happens. Oh, you're gonna? Yeah. I mean, that could be big. That would that be, be huge. huge for my career. Oh. You got this is what you gotta do. If you wanna really pull out all the stops, ha- we wasted all the time, have an intervention, come out as transgender in the same day, say you've been having yes, a drinking problem, trans- and then also hit him with the I was molested and be like, boom, 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 yes, book deal. Yes, should I come out as trans right now? Let's do it. Will well, you come out as trans? Sure, why not? Cheers. You can come out as my I go, cheers. Boom. You'll be my trans surrogate. Great. I done almost and introduced done. you as my surrogate. I don't know. Done why. and done. Just done and done. Um I just like drinking everything. Like I walked home the other day and I saw like I love a couple drinking. people from work. It's so this is an alcoholic's job. Mm-hmm. A couple people from work sitting there. They're like, "Sit down." I was like, "No, I can't." Because if I sit down, I'll have ten beers. Yeah. I can't just have one. Mm. How do we even get onto this subject? Um, we were talking about drinking first dates, first dates, first dates. So you were saying you don't. You just try to not get too drunk. Yes, try and not get too drunk, and um, which then is we hard. Take it, it's very hard. Maybe it'd be easier to do something that doesn't even involve drinks then. But that's not fun. Mm. You can't have fun sober. Mm. You can, you can. I promise you can. How? It's hard. The, it's so fucking hard when you're in the rhythm of that. But it's it, it is harder. But what'll make it what'll probably make you do is start making you go on less dates, which isn't necessarily right. a bad thing. But you'll start being like, okay, do I actually want to spend some sober time with this person? 
And the answer is no. No. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> the, it's, I'm trying to think when I first started going on dates when I wasn't drinking. <laughs> fair. Very, very. And of course I'm, not. I don't want to spend right. sober time with myself. You I think get I want to spend sober time with someone, a stranger? As I was saying that, I was like, and the person is going to be like, and I don't want to do that. I think it's when I first started going on dates sober again. See, this would be my problem, though. When I would first go on dates, when I would be like newly sober, I would lie about how long I had been sober without fail. So the girl would, and I've gotten in such bad situations because they'd be like, how long have you been sober? I'd be like, oh, like two, three years. Now that's a lie. It'd be, like, it'd be like two, three fucking hours. And then I would get in a relationship. I was in a relationship once with a therapist. She was such a good person. I feel so bad about how I handled it. She was such a good person. And I lied to her right from the jump. Love it. I said, two, two years sober. You know, I would say little lies. I would always say little You're lies. just a lying sack of shit. Just a lying sack of shit because it would be like, and then I remember when I told her and she wanted to, she kind of was like pushing us like living together. And then I had like a breakdown about it. I, I ended up, I was like drinking again. I was gone and it was kind of a mess. And then I told her, I said, I lied to you about how long I've been sober. And she was like, if you had told me the truth, I wouldn't have pushed us moving in so quick because I would have known you needed more space. And I was like, fuck. Then think <laughs> that would have been so much easier on me too. Yeah. So when you lie, you really it's not also just not fair to the other person. Cause she was like, Emma, why wouldn't you want that support for yourself? And I was like, What do you even talk? I didn't even know what she meant. I was you like, go, What do you I mean? I hate myself. Yeah, I was what like, do you Duh. Mean? That's <laughs> fuck myself. And that's like kind of what it is. Like I, she was like, Wouldn't you want someone that you're honest with at least so you can like have that for you? And I right. truly couldn't compute what she was saying. Like, that's I was like, so this bitch crazy. is crazy. Like I was on a date on Friday and <laughs> I liked him, but like mm. I could feel myself like that. That like Willie Colon who works here whenever he has a couple. Of oh drinks. yeah, I like that guy a lot. He's the greatest. I really like that guy. Have yeah. you met him? I met him because on um, radio with Francis. Yes, yes, yes. Shout out like, to Francis. Do you like Francis? I, I'm like big time. Francis I think Francis is great. is great. I think Francis is so funny. I love the way Fran. I think Francis is so funny. I was about to say I, I love the way he looks, which feels weird to say because maybe we look a little bit alike. It's, that's what <laughs> I go, that. But uh, yeah, I have known Francis for a while because we're both from Maine. So I remember walking yeah. out of being at this one club stand up New York and walking into the lobby and he was like, I'm from Maine too. Ah. And then that's how we started talking. Interesting. Big, big fan of Francis. Yeah, I could feel the, at the, um, at that date, I could feel like the horn starting to come out. Mm. I was like, oh, like we had two drinks. Like you were going to get nasty to him? No, like I was just going to like start boozing. Oh. <laughs> and I was like, and then I was like, oh, why don't we go somewhere else for a nightcap? Yeah. And he, yeah. you know how it goes. Yeah. And he was like, I don't know. And I was like, come on. And, and how does he not know? Like, what the fuck? Like, that's what I'm curious about. Have a drink. Have We're a on drink. a date. And it was you like. fucking loser. I mean, I'm still an alcoholic in my core. Like, truly. Right? And if you're being from, like, spending time in Boston, because I went to college in Boston, or even in Maine, like, that's how you drink. You know? Yeah, you don't do it in moderation. I'm not doing this to enjoy the taste. I'm doing this to escape my feelings. Exactly. Maybe this is an intervention. Um, but we ended up having a drink, and it was great because we mm. didn't go home together. Mm. And I didn't really get – we both didn't get that drunk, but there was like a buzz going on, right. a noticeable buzz. Right. Um, and then we pulled the plug. So it's nice to hear that uh, – I'm going to hang out with him on Tuesday, which oh, is great. today. And when you guys pulled yeah, the plug – last Tuesday. T- today is – we did a little yeah, smooch yeah. on the street. Oh, you did? That's great. A little smooch on the street. Do you and usually go for the kiss or did he do it? It was mutual. Nice. It was a mutual. I don't, I'm not into PDA. I yeah. don't like it. I, I don't want to get a fucking bottle thrown at me I while totally, I'm on the street. I totally. I get that. And also it's like that's something you want to like ha- – you don't want to force it. Force PDA right. is very – but I feel like two girls kissing might get like a woo, like two like, like big either. guys. It'll right. Be like, well, yeah, that's got to be mortifying for you because you just like fetishize. Sure. And it doesn't actually happen with me. <laughs> like <laughs> They go, who is that little guy? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> They're like, oh, it's so nice a woman's with such a short little man. And then I'm like, yeah, it is. But I've been with, I have been women that have gotten hollered at quite a bit. And it was like weird. I remember there's this one girl I was with and she was this really beautiful girl from Kenya. And whenever we would walk by Kenyan men, they would holler at her. And then I felt really uncomfortable because it would be this like weird dynamic of these got, ho- got Kenyan guys hollering at her. and Bisexual? I, um, she, was she was definitely bisexual for sure. I prefer a bisexual. Shout out. But or a queer bisexual. Someone that indicates in some way they want to get plowed out. <laughs> There are no bisexual men. They don't exist. So. Really? They do. The people are just saying that just to get a rise yeah, out of people. Yeah, get them, get them clicking they on exist. them. I can't can... fucking find them. And when I do see a bisexual man, I just don't believe them. I'm like, you're a guy. I, right, that's the oh, thing. Come on, really? You're because bisexual? Men are more like repressed in terms of being able to – because the thing is, is like they think if they say they're bisexual, then it means like women won't want them and men won't want them. Right. You know? That's exactly what it is. Or they'll be with a guy, and then the guy will be afraid that they'll go cheat with a girl because right. it's like you have the safety of going to marry a girl because right. you're bi- you keep that on the back burner right. when you're like through fucking around with guys. Did you hear about this pastor in 
South Carolina, no, I think. No, His name is, Do- I actually wanted to talk to you Please. about this. He's a gospel singer, a three-time Grammy Award winner, turned mm. pastor, Donnie mm. McClurkin. Um, uh, yeah, I've heard of him. Yes. What are you about to say? He uh, he came out as ex-gay. He mm. said he still has sexual urges to be with men, but he won't act on them. He compared his gay desires to diabetes, saying, quote, I don't eat sugar, but that doesn't mean I don't want sugar. I can't believe this. He's actually very, very famous. Is he? See, yeah. I looked at his Instagram. He has like 300,000 followers. He's a famous uh, black guy? Yeah. Yeah, he's famous. I don't he's, see color, but yeah. He, yeah, 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 of course. If you did, if you did, just so you know he if is. If I yeah. see, he might be? If you did. I, yeah. <laughs> he, I know exactly what you're talking yeah. about, and I'm, I want to use the word shocked. I mean, he's he's a... Uh, that's shocking. When did this happen? When did he? This come happened out? like three days ago. <laughs> really? He has, but it's been an open secret. He's sixty-one years old. But I clicked on his IG, and he has the most femme voice. Sure. He's like, hey y'all, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. come on into my congregation. <laughs> I mean, it's like very obvious. Right. I just thought that was fuck. He should have said he was bisexual. He should have, but it seems like he's got some internalized problems. Right. And he also sounds fucking gay. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> you know what I mean? So just because yeah. I want to suck that sugar's dick doesn't mean I'm going right? to. And you're like, uh, I want to be in a pastry shop every night putting sugar <laughs> in my butt. I'm like, all right, okay, Donnie. All I right. want to know who got, you know the Bachelor shit that happened, obviously. Yes, yes. I need to know who the fuck hooked up with Colin. Mm. There are guys, you're virgin at 29 right, really dude. right right no no i remember no. being closeted at 22 and mm. you take it when you can get it absolutely how many guys totally. do you think he's hooked up with if he really i mean he said he's a virgin yeah but he's did he, not he, did he say he's a virgin with men and women or is he, he like just a, said virgin i bet he meant he's a virgin with women so you think he gets think he's a bo- bottom Probably. i need to see more pictures of him but i love playing that game who do you think's a who do you think's a top or bottom between obama and george bush <laughs> Obama and Michelle. Obama. Well, Michelle is trans. We <laughs> this, do know that people always say that. That's so weird. Wait, well, top and bottom between who and who? Um, Obama and George Bush. If they were to fuck, who's yeah. the top and who's yeah. the bottom? And you know, Dick Cheney's jerking off in a corner. God, that's tough. I know it's tough. That, I, this I, is actually a really good game. It's a good game. I like this game a lot. Maybe but, I feel like Obama. Oh god! I'm it's like picturing tough. them getting fucked. I'm picturing him like holding his legs down. Yes. Maybe George might be a bottom. That's okay. So that's what I said too. But it was really tough. It was a hard <laughs> thing to wrap my head around because Obama's a little prettier, and you know, and he's there's right. there's something about him, and he's like his voice is more soothing. But I could oh god, that's a, Colton's a bottom. You think I was just about to say a top? He's gorgeous. He's gonna be in a jock on Fire Island this summer. He, I know that. You think he's a bottom? Probably. He I will think he's be. a top. He's gonna try it. You think? And I'm gonna be that guy to try it with him. <laughs> that would be aw- if I was a if I was a biological man. I used to call them penis men. If I was a cis man, because a cis gets so confusing. But are you I, cis? But I don't even know what that is. Like you I've, know what cis is. Cis is b- born at birth with it. But why yes. is that? Why is it such a weird word? The, cis. Cis. cis hey, like, cis. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> cis. You're cis. What are your pronouns? Exactly. Um, and I'm like, I don't know. I cheated all through school. I don't even know what a fucking verb is. <laughs> There's a guy, uh, Michael Blaustein, is such a good joke about, if you Google Michael Blaustein talking about, like, I don't want to butcher his joke, but he does a joke about, like, n- that's how he learned what pronouns are from this. And he's like, it's very, it's, I, when he did that, I was like, oh, I wish I thought of that. But I relate to it, too, because I was like, I don't know what, I cheated all through, I went to grad school. I cheated through grad school. What did you go to grad school for? Media studies. Nice. <laughs> and you cheated? <laughs> I, I cheated on it. Everything. I cheated at on school. everything. I, ne- I never didn't cheat. Didn't it would have been absurd to not cheat? I cheated when I didn't. I would know the answer and still fucking cheat. Just, just for the hell of it. Just because I knew. I'm like, I know this is the right answer, but is it? Yeah, and it is. Or you'd spend more time figuring out ways to cheat than it would have taken to just study. I put in yeah. hours figuring out ways to cheat. Like I'd be like coding Braille into an apple, just so I have to learn <laughs> states and capitals, like. I cheated for so much, but we really just cheated ourselves because I don't know anything now. Because here we are. Because here we are. <laughs> <laughs> Drinking a caffeinated yeah. Gatorade on yeah. the fucking show. Shout out Body Armor. Uh, that's a good game, top or bottom. Give me yeah. another one. Okay, wait, wait. Okay, Dick Cheney. But Dick Cheney is definitely a top. He could. He's a passive top. He you sits think? down. Someone rides him. You. Oh, I could see that. Yeah. Ew. No, someone rides him, but not like ride. Like they do the thing where they're like squatting and like bouncing, so we can see it oh. going in and out. Give me another. Give me Dick another. Dick Cheney is so fucking okay. Dick Cheney to me too is like such a nasty little pervert. I would he's love. He's a pig. He's a he's pig. A pig. Top. I would actually love to watch Dick Cheney have sex now. 
Ew. Yeah, I really why? would. I don't know why. I would. I don't want to see his wife fucking peg him. I want to see his wife fuck <laughs> his brains out. What? I want to see him in the little skirt. I would. Yeah, I wonder. Oh, stop. This I is kinda, getting gross. I kind of want to. I wonder if I would say no if he if Dick Cheney was like, I'm a whore. And I need to get the I need to get the I, I like it and if she says so if someone says I'm a whore like I'm like yes like I oh, like that yeah and then you're a dom top I like I would I would say so yeah yeah but I would like it when that yeah that's a yes I would say so <laughs> it's, you don't have to be do you want to top me on camera right but here's now? <laughs> <laughs> I put it up on YouTube like I'll, I got called into Erica's office uh, Pat uh, yeah 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 you put up a, a, a uh, Evan Wilmot's here. She <laughs> fucked you on camera. Um, My pr- the thing is where I feel uncomfortable saying that and owning it is because I'm you're so embarrassed. when I'm also so disorganized in the rest of my life. Like it's gotten better now that I don't drink. I take my little pill, ADD pills, but I'm Hook such a me- <laughs> I'm such a mess in other areas. It's hard saying I'm a dom top because I'm a dom top. It's so funny to see, hear a woman say dom top. People want to be like penetrated by someone who like knows what they're doing and where their stuff is. So it's hard for me to like uh, like continually be a, like a top daddy when like I'm always losing my keys. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Cuz I'm like bend over. And while you're down there using my keys down there because <laughs> I lost everything. So that's where it gets harder and harder to like Sometimes I feel like there's like such a chasm between my sex life and how I am. Like out of the bedroom, I'm not. I don't really. I'm not jealous. I don't care about anything really. I'm just trying to focus on career stuff and and I love gossiping about nothing. So I'm not. <laughs> you know. That's pretty much my job to come in here and gossip about nothing. I, to, to just, We're getting paid to do this. Right to, now. to discuss nothing is this the only, is the only thing I can ever do. Um, top or bottom, Michelle Obama, Melania Trump. God. Damn, that's a good one. It's tough with it is tough with women. Okay, mush, fuck. I don't know which. Uh, the, I'd rather. Ha- oh. <laughs> Damn, that's a tough one. Um, Michelle Obama or Melania Trump? Okay, 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 okay. okay. Melania, are you kidding? I don't know though. Melania is like a. She's an assertive. She is. Where, where is she from? Ukraine or some mm, shit? Something. Like a, Slovenia. Slo. I think Michelle would be the top. Slovenia, yeah. And I'm, but I could see Michelle being like a no. Michelle would be like a bossy bottom where she would be orchestrating everything. She's you know what bottom. I mean? She's a power bottom. And I like a power she, bottom. Too. Okay. What about um? What about okay, Lil Wayne and Baby? <laughs> oh, ooh, it's, it, it's tough. It's tough. Lil Wayne. <laughs> I wish I could picture the sex scenes that were flashing in your They're head. They're all. It's really like a lot. I'm picturing him <laughs> like a just it's like really, a, It's really like a lot. Yeah. <laughs> Lil Wayne is fucking him. He's a big. Bottom. Really? Yeah, he's gonna oh. dom- He's gonna just dog him out. It's, okay, so I was totally. I was picturing Baby would be the top. Interesting. But his name is Baby. Facts. So I feel like he's kind of just like a big, like <laughs> cuddly rapper who was like, you know what I mean? Are we gonna? He's get- smooth. <laughs> Uh, if they ever, see, if the off chance that they ever see this, and then we ever meet them, it's gonna be really awkward. Imagine they come in right now. Oh. I'm gonna, I'm gonna tag them in this clip. This will be a because social clip. Do you, do you see the clip of baby getting pissed? I think it was on the Breakfast Club. Did you see that clip? No. Okay, this clip went viral. I think it was a couple years ago. So he had felt like he had been disrespected. So then he's in at the Breakfast Put Club. Put some respect on my name. That's the yeah. one. So, and that's just because they were like, "He keep my name out your mouth." So now, now we've just said he's a big baby bottom. So we'll see how he reacts. Fuck to this. you, baby. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Come get some. Yeah. You think you could beat up? You ever look at celebrities and say like, "Could you beat them up?" Like I, any feet? Like, could you beat up Melania Trump? Ooh, I think you're I, in shape. You're like soul I really cycle. Appreci- Thank you so much. I really yeah. appreciate. Well, first of all, I was a really overweight kid. And then, Love it. F- for, then using food was the first thing I used as comfort. I used to lie about my drinking. Like I went away to get help for drinking. <laughs> We're back to the booze. And, <laughs> oh, you went away. Yeah, I went to this like little like rehab thing, and I my real substance that I was ab- abusing Passages. was overeating. But I was embarrassed to say I was an overeater, so I like was like, I used to drink to try to pass out, so then I wouldn't overeat. Isn't that crazy? That's fucked. So you went mm-hmm. to straight up rehab. How long were you gone for? Five years. No, no, no. no. Oh <laughs> I just got back. No, I got. I should have put some vodka <laughs> yeah. there just to fuck with you. Oh my god! On the let's date. relapse right now. Yeah. Can I go get some booze oh, and the, we can do a oh, relapse? We would never leave the room. We're just dying here. <laughs> I last night on the date, the girl was like trying to. She was trying to order um champagne shrimp, and I was like, she knows I'm sober. But I was like, um, I think it has champagne. And she's like, oh, I don't think it does. And I was like, I'm pretty sure I can't have the champagne shrimp. <laughs> and then she reread it and was like, I'm so sorry. And I was like, it's okay. You're that much of a booze bag, huh? You can't. I don't think you. Can, I mean, if if it's, if it's like cooked off, I think it's fine, but I wouldn't want to risk it. 
Things what, go downhill real quick, Pat. What would happen? What would happen if we did a shot of vodka right now? I would just walk down the street and shoot myself because I wouldn't want to deal with having to go get sober anymore. It would be no, but that would set you off the rails that bad. If I was like, let's have one shot of vodka. Okay, so it'd be like this: if you're like, I'll give you a million bucks if you have a shot of vodka. I'd be like, I mean, if you were like, I'll give you five hundred bucks back. I were nah, a million bucks. Nah, oh, five hundred. That's a big difference. A thousand dollars, you would do a shot of vodka. Cash. No. Okay, no. two thousand. Uh, no. Five grand. You would no. do one shot of vodka. It's that your sobriety isn't that important. It is. It is. <laughs> I promise. I promise. It is because it goes like it'll go down so because it just okay. So the last time I drank, I'd say it was like seven or eight months ago. I was really overwhelmed. I was in a relationship and I didn't know how to deal with getting like out of it and like we had it. I missed the dog and it was like a whole clusterfuck. I was sitting at a hotel in Wall Street. And I remember, I remember going out doing shows, and I was mad at myself because I wasn't trying new jokes. Right. Pissed at myself. So I was like, if you get drunk, then you can try new jokes. That was what I told myself. So I got a bottle of tequila, <laughs> and I ended up just getting drunk in the hotel room. And I was, I remember doing my buddy's podcast. It was like at 11 a.m. I was put like tequila in my coffee, and I remember by the end of it, I was so hammered. Whose podcast? I'm not gonna say because I don't know if he ever it. knows. I don't know if he ever because I remember like drinking while we're on, and by the end of it, I was like. Mm. <laughs> Slosh. I'm looking around the room right now. There's three bottles of vodka, a bottle of rum, and a case of beer, and a case of seltzer. Yeah, there is I a lot of stuff. I didn't even in, notice. Yeah, yeah, you're like, ah, da, da, da. I have to tackle you on the, the way out to prevent you. Those are good booze, though. I mean, what? I do the uh, I, I the, the beer, the Presidente. What's the What's in the brown? What's the brown? Oh, in that's not like Game of Thrones, like rum, but it's like a nice bottle. I think that was like a six hundred dollar thing. Really? I actually yeah. don't like rum. Well, let's so we want to find out. Yeah, 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 yeah <laughs> This yeah, show yeah. turns into me trying to get you to yeah, relapse, yeah. trying eh, to ruin eh, your life. Eh, eh. Um, that's interesting you said. It's also funny. I have buddies who are now like, how old are you? 35? 35. How, you th- could I just did guess? your research. Oh, okay. I, I did thank my re- you. And by research, I mean I copy and pasted the first three <laughs> lines of your Wikipedia. Yep. Because I get Botox. Uh, I get tons of shit tons of Botox to try to disguise. Not that the it 35 is a great though. age. Can, really appreciate can that. Can you go up with your yeah. eyebrows? Try. Ouch. Does it hurt? I want to get it, it in my armpits to get me to stop sweating. I've heard that it does that. Yeah. But do you think you really sweat too much? Well, I didn't wear deodorant today, so yeah. That's a but it's a but it's That's a, a personal hygiene. It, issue. It, but it's but it's also like <laughs> it's but if you didn't sweat at all, where would the sweat go? Because the sweat needs to be released to glance that detox. That's you. true. I have no idea. I don't know either. Come Wait, out your but eyes. my buddies who are we well, are thirty five, I'm thirty one. Yeah. Um we're at the age now where people are getting sober. Right. And it's like you don't know. Like I can right. joke with it about you. I just met you. <laughs> right. But it's like some people it's not funny. Like we have weddings and like I'm in a group chat with my buddies. We have – I go to a wedding every fucking other week. Oh. It's miserable. Oh, fucking praise Corona for shutting – putting a tampon well, on Well, no. That. Now they're all they're all rescheduling the right. weddings and I right. thought they were over. But we're right. in group chats and like several of my friends are like, I'm sober now. I'm sober now. I was like, ugh. And they got sober like recently? Kind of, like uh, within a year. And you can't, it's fresh, so you can't really joke about right, it. Right, right. And you're like, good for you, congratulations. Yeah. Or you're like, why? And Give me like, another year and then I'll be there kind could, of deal. Right, exactly. But, Just hold off. Especially for weddings. And it's like when it's like more than one friend, I can see how that's tough. Especially if it's like a part of what you did for fun. Like right. if it was like friends from, like nothing makes, I love drinking with friends from high school. That was the that's most fun. the most fun. That's all, most all my fun closest friends are from home. So most of my friends that have like, like our our friends from because I'm from such a small town in Maine, right. so I fucking love my friend like love high school, college, and then also when you get into entertainment, I do have friends that I made like later in life. But there's something about the w- way back in the day for drinking, just getting liquored up, liquored up in the parking lot. Oh, oh yeah, going. What are you doing later? Oh, we're gonna drive over to the Seven Eleven parking lot, and then you go to a field and get drunk, and it's just a lot of like yep. whose parents aren't home. Okay, everyone's <laughs> parents are home, and now we're just sloshed in a car it's doing dips. Oh, doing dip. Love doing a lesbian dip. who's boozed up doing dip. Oh, and I was in the closet all. So I was in the closet all of high school. Uh-huh. Had boyfriends. Gave yep. blowjobs. Did you? Yeah, because I I care about being a considerate lover. Did you get fucked? Did you get fucked? So did, I you had, have se- did you have I, sex with men? I had sex. Such a crude way. I, I had sex with one guy twice, and he was really nice. He was a great guy, but it just was not for me. No offense. Yeah. Any, you know what I mean? It just wasn't for me. It's fine. Interesting. But, there is nothing. But he was a really nice guy. <laughs> What's he doing now? I don't know. We didn't really. I, John. I don't John, know. please walk into the room. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He was such, he was a great guy. But I but I I definitely knew I was gay, but I was I would always make my friends I'd be like, We're not gonna have sex till we're married. My friends were like, Fine. 
And I was like, because it's important to hold out. And they were just like very <laughs> confused. Were you, uh, were you religious? Oh, no. And so my parents so were So that like, was supposed to have been really weird. <laughs> like, my parents were like, where does this come from? And my mom was, I, when I had a boyfriend, she'd be like, you should go on birth control. You never know when you're going to get caught up in the moment. I was like, I'm not, there's no moment. Like, what are you talking <laughs> about? She was just convinced that. And then I, when I would say I want to wait till I was married to sex, she was like, I just don't. I, my parents did not understand. They're like, but for, because, <laughs> like, what is it? Like, what is the, what's, shut up. Yeah. Like, what's the, ba- I just want to hold off. But, <laughs> <laughs> they're just like, what's the background? Like if it was if you're it was acting and they're trying to study the character they're like where is this character coming from? <laughs> Shut up, yeah. mom! I want to hold it's up. It's what I want because I used to watch. They would also find porn and both of my parents are divorced. My mom's computer and my dad's computer. So lucky two Christmases. Two Christmases. Yes. Two Christmases. Yes, queen. Yes, sis. Now I want to start saying sis, but as you like are a so sis. sis. You you could maybe be T though. You think people think you're T sometimes? Trans. Yeah. Absolutely, and and I like that. I do like that. You it's like T? I like it, but. I wouldn't, I mean, it's just so, t- I always think of it, it's just so tough. It, it'd be like really, I don't know if I could pull it off all the time because I wouldn't want to have. But you're a dom top. You're a cis yeah. dom top. You could be a T dom top. I mean, that would be great, but then it's like, I think that'd be hard for careers. I don't know. I Are really you kidding know. me? For your career, that would be amazing. You think? Come out as trans? You think? Do it now. But God I... damn it. We're <laughs> on the show. For Christ, I'm thinking about what clip we can post. <laughs> I, get her a cocktail. Yeah, yeah, Let's yeah, go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get you liquored up yeah, and, yeah, yeah, yeah. and you come out as trans. Are you t- <laughs> Actually, <laughs> at a wedding, I was at this table and one of the guys was trans and he was talking about how he had, was sexually felt sexually restricted when he was with lesbians. And this is when I was drinking. And oh, I was like, I remember, back when mama was drinking. <laughs> I remember Here queuing we... it up and I was like, I feel sexually restricted when I'm with lesbians. So I was like, because that's not how I like to express myself sexually. Right. So by the end of the end of the wedding I'm like oh, I'm trans and, <laughs> and and I get so drunk that my roommate at the time was like let's get Emma up to the room like let's get her up there and oh, everyone, you were that kind I of was, drunk I was and it's a fucking wedding and it wasn't even like a super 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 close friend so like I'm like ruining the wedding oh and, I've been there and one of the bridesmaids <laughs> moms you. was a nurse and they spent the, their daughter's wedding night in my room taking care of me because I was like they thought I had to go to the hospital but my roommate's mm. like let's get her up and then everyone that had been the table with me where I come out as trans was like it's him now. And she's like, oh, no. she's like, Emma, I'm going to fucking kill you. She's like, well, the focus is like, let's get Emma upstairs before she starts puking everywhere. And they're like, before he starts puking everywhere. They, at least they got the pronouns right. They got the pronouns right. And she said that I was like in the bathtub just like puking in there. And she was like, I'm going to kill her. And then people were like, you're going to kill him. And she's like, <laughs> can we not right now? Like, my night is ruined. My dress is ruined. And I was like, Bleh. what? Were, how long ago was this? You were in a dress. I feel like you would. Ne- I wasn't in a dress. You would never wear a dress. I would never. I wasn't in a dress. I wasn't in a dress. What my, would it take to get you in a dress with like just go full femme? You know, even for acting, it would be. I don't. I played it so so. At one of the I played a straight girl the other day when I filmed the when I filmed an episode or something, and it was <laughs> filming a porn. It, <laughs> it was, I, oh, I mean that would be. I just oh, it, incomprehensible. I mean, look, even if I was a cis man, I would be a gay man. Yeah. So, like, I can't even, even though, but I like watching straight porn because I like to self-exercise with the guy. It's just, there's a lot. But if I was, a, if I was, if I was a penis man born at birth, I would be a gay one. For right. sure. It, w- no, well, that makes sense if you're a penis does, man. If you're a penis man born at birth. It's, that's, I always say penis man instead of cis man. And then um, Rachel Bloom, who was in the creative crazy ex-girlfriend once she was like you know when you say i'm botching it a little bit but she's like when you say penis man it sounds like like someone who was like molested and like then they're like the man walks in and they're like there's the penis man Ooh, like there he it does it, it sounds does really creepy creepy and so now i like saying it i always the, think of that when's the last time you wore a dress oh god maybe in, in high school i used to wear skirts i was really in the closet in high school and i used to make fun of there was okay so my I loved high school because I just liked my friend. I liked my friends in it. So right. my social life was like my most favorite thing. And so I'm in the closet and I used, this is pretty embarrassing. I, I still feel bad about it. I used to make fun of, not on their face because I'm, I'm classy, but yeah, I used no. to make fun of these two girls who would always, these like two goth, really, really gothic girls. And one of them always wore these black angel wings and they would hold hands. And I remember I would goth. like, and I would kind of make fun of them. Yeah. Well, I mean, there's a lot of material there. There's a lot of material. I would be like, do other people see that? I bet that's my guardian angel because it was just like a fucking. <laughs> <laughs> that's kind of funny. It was kind of funny, but it was yeah. also, I was also, and then I would be like, they're gross. Like, why do they need to hold hands? Like, yeah. can't they just go outside of the building? 
And I ripped. <laughs> what? What is this, 1950? Can't they go outside of the building? I'm sorry. <laughs> God, take that shit outside. <laughs> Says the lesbian yeah, to the other lesbians. You motherfuckers aren't wanted. And they're like, oh, God. Like, but it was, I remember my friend who, my straight friend being like, you know, why does that upset you so much? Because And she was like, I don't really think about them unless you bring them up. Like, <laughs> it's at like the forefront of your consciousness, I'm sure. It was at the, like, I would just be like, oh, I was walking the hall and I fucking saw those disgusting <laughs> lesbians. And Mark, or my friend would be like, okay. And I'd like, and what about it? I'd be like gross right like it's disgusting right you would hate me but would you like me if I was that yeah or? how would you feel about if one of them was me not that I would ever be that because I hate them and she, <laughs> <laughs> she her mom's best friend was a lesbian she's like it kind of weirds me out that you're so awful about them like my mom's friend's lesbian and I'd be like why why like, I was awful because I was scared when did you come out in college I came out I was really lucky I went to this I went to an all women's college yeah, I bet you. Had I fun bet it. There. It wasn't like, all women. Whore, yeah, it wasn't all. all women. And then I got there. I said, "It's all women now." Well, yeah. It was <laughs> Simmons College in Boston. Yeah, I know Simmons. Yeah, I went to Simmons. Avoided it like the plague. Did, I bet. <laughs> wait, where'd you go to college? UMass Amherst. Nice. Yeah. But that I could see that being a tough place to be. Were you out in college? No. Yeah, Not I could. Until the end. I totally get that. I think that would be a tough place to be out. It honestly. was also two. It was also two thousand and. 11, mm -hmm. 2009, 10, 11 ish. I'm so bad with the, yeah. Yeah, so it was before Grinder. Totally. <laughs> and that's a real thing. Yeah. Like, that's like, it's tough to be, no wonder you were going figuring out Craigslist stuff. I mean, that's what, that was the first guy I hooked up with was off, I saw the Craigslist killer doc and I was like, oh, people fuck off this? I was like, hell yeah. And I found Wait. some, I found some RA and I was like, what's up, man? How's it going? If you did, uh -huh. if you did stand up, I would definitely say that that should be a joke. The Craigslist killer? That that was your interpretation of the Craigslist killer was it like, was people my, are going to wonder. You know what I mean? It was my only takeaway. That's really funny. And then that's I, so fucking funny. <laughs> if you did stand up, you should definitely, like, uh, for sure. Sure. Like that's that's really. I just funny. have one joke though, and that's it. You could <laughs> you could. I mean, interpreting the Craigslist killer as that is like your like dating tips is like yeah. The, yeah it yeah. worked. <laughs> I met guys off Craigslist, and I would we would we would meet up, and we would get in. But then you go through the car hookup. That's another mm. thing I wanted to ask you. Mm. Did you have to hide it? Like when I like I couldn't bring a guy around like without a backstory. Like straight mm. people, guy and girl. Oh, they must be into each other. Whatever. Right. If I bring some random fucking dude over to, like, my mom's house? Sure. Like, who is this? Right, and they're like, why are you going up to your room and not just, like, getting right. pre-gramming and going out to meet? Yeah. Why are you turning right. up the volume really right, loud? Right, 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 right. Like, what are you guys doing up there? Practicing for chicks! Like, why are you sweating? Right, 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 like, right. Why, why are you so is, nervous? Yeah. Why is there a load on your face? Totally, um, totally. But what <laughs> did you have to hide? I didn't have it? to hide with the... Well, okay, for girls I did for a little bit, but when I had a boyfriend, I was in... With, when I would have my boyfriends, we would still go into the car because you can't like it would be the yeah. same thing where they'd be like you can't be alone with them. So I would go give them like hand into the car. I would give them hand jobs and blowjobs in the car. Did that? <laughs> and I studied it. I remember reading about how to give a blowjob and Cosmo and like wanting to be like good at it. I learned about the balls. You learned about the balls because I still wanted to be a good like you know and like the, the top of the penis and the rest of the penis. Like <laughs> what? I, did, what was your main takeaway from the balls? I think the, the balls. I think the balls are super important. The balls are super important. They're so for important, sure. and like I don't understand when straight women are. I've heard straight women say like "ew balls," and I hate that because I'm like, okay, right now everyone is so on, on no body shaming, body positivity, right? Just shout out Karen Fian. Let's she get her. <laughs> let's get her and talk about body positivity. And she has some really interesting thoughts on it that I totally that I understand. Yes. And I, with I really think she's coming from a place of care actually about wanting people to be healthier. Yeah. You know what I mean? Give her the benefit. You know, like. So, with the balls, it's like <laughs> back to the balls. The I think that it's like when then people are like, "Ew, but balls are gross." I'm like, you can't just blanket say someone's balls are gross. Like in the context of hooking up with someone, if it makes your partner feel good, mm -hmm. like I like it. I like desire. So if someone is like, I would hope if I were straight, if someone I would want to like make the person feel good, and that's like. Like the other night, you hook up, you put the balls in your vagina. <laughs> sure, if I was straight, I'd fucking put the balls everywhere. Would Don't you, put you want the to balls be a good lover? I do someone... everything with the balls. No, if I do, do everything with the balls. If I were straight, I would hope to fuck that I would be all. I would do. I would, the balls would get. F it would be so imp essential. Would the balls take? Would the balls take priority over the dick? Maybe if I was teasing the person, like I would go, I would like spend a long time on the balls. Uh, you know what I mean? This I mean, is how long are we talking here? We're talking, we're talking. 
10, 20 minutes on the no, ball. No, that's too. That's excessive. That's excessive Be, balls. That's that's edging like big time. You know what I'm saying? Right. But if I were like, I would hope if I were straight or if I was a gay guy that I would like really like focus on their fucking balls. I mean, like recently, I for the first time in my life, I've been attracted to someone's feet. <gasps> mm. I know. <gasps> yeah. <You're, laughs> yeah. My pearls. <laughs> yeah. I had a guy who would uh, pay me for pictures of my feet. Really? Yeah, I was his fin sub. I was his fin dom. He was and my fin sub. Wait, what's fin? What's fin? Financial. Oh. So I would take a picture of my feet and send it to him and he would pay me. And it wasn't, these weren't cheap. 75 bucks for a picture of my feet. Really? I do like four in a day Wait, sometimes. I want to do that. It was amazing. I want to do that. And then eventually he was like. <laughs> Can I come on your feet? Eventually, he, I never met up with him. Oh, this yeah, lasted yeah. for like a month. And wow. then eventually, he was like, can you put your dick in mm. the thing? And I was like, all right, well, okay, here we did go. Did you do it? <laughs> I did, yeah. Did you charge extra? Yes. Oh, of course. Oh, good for you. The dick, look, listen, feet are low price. You want the dick in there. I totally agree. And your face was not in it, right? No, my face was no, my face was okay. Bad. Good, because yeah. that's it. You know, now God, that that's fucked up to say. Should I cut that from the episode? Now nah, we're leaving. It I in. think that I mean, I think it's like an interesting. I mean, it's good that you didn't put your face in it. You know what yeah. I'm saying? And like, but he listens to this. I'm oh, sure. really? What's up? I, I'd send someone a picture of my feet. No one's ever asked. <laughs> I have really long toes. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad Ooh, thing. It's well, bad. Well, no, it could be good. Anything that's a distinguishing feature of a foot will be good. Like, we have a guy, Za, who... Oh, you Zah. know. You, 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 I'm telling he's, you. He, you yeah. Za is a uh, little person from Zimbabwe. He could fetch money out the ass for his feet. A little, you guys have a little person from Zimbabwe? Zim- yeah. From, <laughs> yeah. Jack, you, she's hammered you drunk a, right now. You have a little person we from do. Zimbabwe here at Barstool Sports. Yeah, you want to meet him after? I mean... Is you don't want to be like circus style. No, like, exactly. You can't pick it. This is the part of the tour where it's yes. a little person from Zimbabwe. Here's our little person from Zimbabwe. Here's our morbidly <laughs> obese man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Check, uh-huh. check, check. Yeah. Interesting. Um, oh, yeah, he could make a lot of money on his feet. Does it, what size foot does he have? They're wide. Mm. He's got a wide foot. Good for him. Yeah, he's got a real wide foot. How um, long? Though? How long is it proportional foot? to him? The clown, <laughs> they're clown feet. <laughs> he's got feet this big. Fucking huge. I think he's maybe like a, maybe like a seven or eight. Mm, it was kids' mm, shoes, but they're mm, wide. Mm, mm, mm. Good for him. Are you guys entertained? He <laughs> could. He could watch a. He, he could charge a lot of money. No one's ever asked me feet, but so I was looking at this girl that I've been with recently. I just there's something about her feet, and they're so like. Fu- I mean, I I'm extremely attracted to her feet. She's so sexy, and I was like, I think you're giving me a foot fetish. And she was like, okay. And then she was like, well, I like getting my toes sucked on. And then I was like, oh, like. Or she said that she was like open to that, and then it, then it made me be like, oh, like is this something you had been wanting and hadn't said? Right. She said no, but I mean, what that's was she? That's a lie. Get? Yeah. It's a lie, right? This is the girl you're dating now. You yeah. can't talk about it. Yeah. You told me not to talk about it before. Well, I, but well, we could talk about it. it's a, it's a it's a it's a newer thing, but it, but I can talk about the like yeah. You don't have to. I like her very much. Fine. This morning, I said. Oh God, where are we going? I here? said I I accidentally I said um. You love her. I said I love my We're, baby. This is gonna be on. YouTube. This is gonna be our clip. It's all good, but I then I was like, oh, I'm. We were like in the zone, and then I was like, oh, I said I love my baby. Like I didn't. I meant like I do like uh, you know like when you get in the zone and you say something. Right. And she, and, but I like overcorrected it, and that wasn't good. You know, <laughs> you overcorrected. Because I was like, I didn't mean to say that. I'm sorry. And I was like, you know, when you get in the zone, I was like, normally yeah. when I get in the zone, I'd, I'd accidentally call someone like a whore or something. But in this case, a I whore. said, I know I shouldn't have yeah. said. I was I dug a hole. No, that's fine. I always I'll say I love you after five minutes if it means really? I get a second date. I don't give a fuck. But I don't think that's what helps us get second dates. I think people are like, what? that's the, <laughs> that's the, that is not what helps yeah, us get it's second not, dates. You want to be a little mysterious. It was just like I was. It just like everything felt so good, and I was like, oh, and I, oh I was. Just, I, I shouldn't have said it. it my ex used to say, I love my fat fag. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ. I remember he texted me that wow. once. I was like, I sent him a picture of my belly, like joking. He was like, I love my fat That's fag. cute, though. I was like, oh. How long were you guys together for? A year. Wow. Longest yeah. relationship? No, I had one longer than that before. They mm. both ended horrifically. Yeah, mine always end horrifically. With, you know, infidelity. Sure. That was the word I was looking for when I kept making up things about home on the range. Yeah. What was, <laughs> yes. I don't know. What? There is infidelities and indiscretions. Infidelities. That was the word I was looking for when I was like, yeah, I was out in the pasture like chomping cheese. Like, I don't know what the fuck I was talking I was just looking, but infidelity. That was the word I was looking for. Yeah. But, but yeah, that's... We, uh, progress, that's not perfection. <laughs> go and grow. All we can do is try to be better and, you know, not keep our side of the street clean. Absolutely. Emma, mm. this has been... So wonderful. Oh, thank you. To have you come here. Absolutely. I feel like we hit really the trifecta a lot. <laughs> of, of a lot of things to talk about. I want yeah. you to come back. I want you to Anytime. come back with like 
Karen and like oh sure with sure, other, sure. other like funny people. For some reason, I thought you were gonna say with I don't know why I thought you were gonna say this. Um, I I I really don't know why I thought you were gonna say this, but with someone in their feet, which I don't know why. We should do a foot photo shoot after this. Oh God, no! You can, I don't have socks on right now. Perfect. Get them sweaty and well, ripe. I I'm so the re, I was like I'm doing laundry and I just didn't put socks on. Let me say. <sighs> You don't have to take them uh, No, I will. You have nice sneakers on. Thanks. Making, are you making good money on I like comedy? wearing my... I, after I got cast in my episode, uh, the thing where I play the straight person, I, I did a little shopping spree. Oh, don't take them out. Oh, sorry. I'm oh, sorry. Oh, 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 you <laughs> No, I was kidding. Oh, yeah. God. Fuck. We gotta go <laughs> now. Part. No, wait. Actually, that's what I wanted to ask you about before I let you go. Yeah. Um, what were you acting in L.A.? Because you fucking hate acting. It was in New York. So, New York. so they shot in New York. It was. It's called The Good Fight, and it's on okay. Paramount+. Plus. And here's the thing with acting. I... It's so... I respect <laughs> acting, so I see how hard it is, and I'm and I work at it really, really. And I've said before, I'm like, I will work so hard at acting to be all right at it, because mm-hmm. acting is I respect it, and but I felt really proud of getting cast in this because I hadn't gotten cast in something for like two years, and I was still go hacking away at the acting auditions and like do and fucking hating it right and doing and i love my acting coach is a super straight guy named bill and shout outs to fucking bill dawes he's so good he will he we have done so many different scenes together and he just he's the reason i got this particular part because i do, he, he's he's really when's it he's great i don't know when it airs probably never <laughs> they go. They're gonna edit me. Yeah, out. this is about At the least end of you it. Got paid. Yeah, it. But it was just so nice to get like cast and something. Yeah. But I. But acting for me, you know, I. The more I understand it, the more I respect and appreciate it. And it's like a whole other. It's just so. It's very different from other like stand up or radio or stuff like that. It's a lot of and memorizing isn't a strong point for me. No. But it's a testament to just like working at something and like you get better like slowly. Uh, imagine working at something. Ah. <sighs> When you just post your fucking feet on the internet, why are we doing anything but that? Honestly, I had had Lisa Ann on here and Mm. my regular co-host. I know that name. Porn star. Ah. Lisa Ann. Um, I had my regular co-host, Kate, who just had a baby. Oh, nice. Congratulations. She was talking about like she's had guys DM her to sell like her panties and stuff. Sure. And Lisa gave a website. Fuck. It was like dirty something where she sells like she'll wear socks for a day and then fucking sell them for other bucks. Really? So you should look into that. Interesting. And I dated someone who did foot stuff. But she did it in person. And she said she would just like do her homework and the guys would rub her feet. And I was like, and jack off. And then she was like, yeah, sometimes they would. <laughs> but foot rub. Not bad. Yeah. What? Uh, where can we find your podcast? Where can we find you on IG and everything? Um, Instagram, Emma Wilman, two L's, two N's. And I always try to just stay active on there and like holler back. And then I have a podcast called Inside the Closet that comes out every Thursday. And I'm, I've been brainstorming trying to do another podcast, but not one where I edit it this time. Yeah, that's the uh, well, come by here again. But make Absolutely. sure you bring people if you want, sure. and um, and we'll have fun. And yeah, we we'll should do a foot thing. We should do just a foot podcast, or just play. To- who's the top? Who's the bottom? I would do that for an entire. Yeah, day. I'm gonna have that on our graphic. Who's the top? Who's the totally. bottom? Totally. Give me one more to end the show. Okay, okay. A good one. Okay, 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 okay. Like okay. something that's real. It doesn't have to be politician. It can be celebrity. It can Got be. It. <sighs> ja Rule, Fifty Cent. Oh, 50's fucking him. You think? Come on. All right, that's okay, that was easy. easy one. Okay, Give me sorry. another okay, one. Okay, sorry, 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 sorry. I didn't mean to offend. Just, um, <laughs> that's like really offensive. Sorry. Um, um, okay. I'll one. give you one while you okay, think. Okay, okay. Um, Karen Fian, Chloe LeBranch. Oh my God, I can't picture that at all. How about that? Um, there's, there's a two form here's of drugs too. Here's the thing. Too. I also seriously don't, like with lesbians, I'm so, re- not like if I'm too picturing two women having sex, I'm so far removed from that because all the porn I watch is straight porn right. or gay guy porn. Right. Like I truly don't even know how lesbians have sex. So if it was, so not to, not to make you, t- this is where, we, like, <laughs> okay, <here> it's, we <laughs> so I can't even, it's like if I picture two women having sex, then I have to picture it like if they were two gay guys. And I think if Karen and Chloe were gay guys, Karen would be the top. Facts. You know what I'm saying? Or if yeah. Karen was a guy and was a straight guy, she would be like a real like uh, Casanova, I think. Yes. You know what I mean? Uh, all right. Who do you have for me? Okay. All right. Fuck, 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 fuck. Anyone. Literally anyone okay. that pops into mind. Willie and Francis. <laughs> they, are be- they are both very attractive in their own oh, way. Oh, God. I don't they're, think so. I think that they're both bo- They're very attractive. They're, they are both very attractive I mean, people. Francis is getting fucked. Are you kidding me? Willie's 400 pounds. Oh. Right, a four hundred pound former NFL guy versus like a kind of funny. 
Or, and that's a stretch. <laughs> Disagree. Um, for, Disagree. Um, I'm kidding. Yeah. Uh, you go, yeah, let's end it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, versus Francis? No, that's a no-brainer. You think? Yeah. I don't know. Now I want to keep going. What's no, another I don't slogan? know. No, I don't know. I... Jake Paul and Logan Paul. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Jake and Logan. Who's topping? Who's bottoming? Jake also, and... I don't know about Logan's that. Logan's about... fucked. I don't know about Willie and Francis. I think Francis is definitely would be a top. His dick couldn't reach Willie's hole. Think I think they would padding. find a way. Think I think how they much would find a way. Padding is in between his ass and his. Francis hole. has a uh, imagine, but also it's unfair because I know Francis a lot better than Willie. Right. So I I don't know. I think Francis would be the top, but I I mean no, and I don't mean and look. And you're not bottom shaming. And I am not bottom shaming. I fucking love because I I no bottom shaming. I say this: bottoms are giving the biggest gift to the world. They make the world go round. Right. If there were no bottoms, all the pent I uh, when someone bottoms, it's just like it's the most incredible, beautiful, luxurious, greatest thing ever. Luxurious. You know? It really is. <laughs> it's true. It's, it's true. like thank God. Like, we're, like where would anyone ever be without like? And the end of the day, the bottom is actually in control. No matter how much, you know what I'm saying? That's a fact. It's a fact. That's a fact. Well, okay. Logan and Jake Paul. Logan and Jake Paul. God damn it. And then I got something very important to tell you about after. Okay, I'm gonna say. Okay, okay. Oh, Jesus, I want to say Jake would be the top, but I actually think Jake would be the bottom. Jake would top for sure. You think Jake would yeah. top? Logan would. Because he's such a he's a better boxer. Probably. But you know what? It doesn't really matter who does here's a transition. And they're brothers. Here's a transition. Okay. It doesn't really matter who tops and who bottoms. True. Because as oh, fuck. No, you know, I'm gonna do the transition. No, you got again. it, you got wait, it. You wait, got wait, it. do you I have it? it? It doesn't matter who tops and who bottoms because they're both gonna look great because they're both wearing bare bottom shorts. Boom, got the transition. The return to travel is finally here, but before you start packing for your next adventure, don't forget to check out bare bottom clothing. Their adventure bare bottom clothing their adventure ready shorts swim trunks and tees are perfect for breaking out of your hibernation without breaking the bank bare bottom combines premium style and comfort with an insane value uh the internet's best deal on high quality and versatile menswear you get two pairs of their best-selling stretch shorts plus their antimicrobial moisture wicking mm. tech tee for under 100 dollars. they're priced right every day so you don't have to wait around for sales um they also have over 10,000 five-star reviews online uh guys love bare bottom threads because it's their everyday day go-to clothes that you can wear in all different situations you can transition from the couch to the gym to work to play whatever you do all day long bare bottom has you covered and right now my listeners get free shipping on their first order of these super comfortable threads at barebottomclothing.com with code out just go to barebottom.com that's b-e-a-r like the animal bottom clothing.com and use code out to get free shipping on your first order i say this every show when mm. i talk about this we get a lot of stuff shipped to the office. I look forward to my bare bottom clothing mm. because it it fits me right. The joggers, I think they. Oh, I them. love joggers, and you know what? They don't it never underestimate a good antimicrobial. It makes a big fucking difference. It really does. Thank you, Queen. It really does, yes. it, and this feels like a little bit of me being th- like I feel my age when I say that. No, but the older true. I get, the more I appreciate an antimicrobial. Absolutely, and they're comfortable, and they make me look like a normal person. Yes. A very oddly shaped body. I'm gonna give you, you- are. I have a very oddly shaped body. Really? What My do you legs mean? are so long. Hmm. But the shirts fit me right. The pants fit me right. They're awesome. And get them now so you're prepared for the summer. Yes. I have about 10 pairs on my desk. Yes. Just wait until I come in here. You guys That's are going right. to see how fucking amazing. Mm-hmm. I'm going to give I'm gonna give Emma some on the on I would the, love uh, some bare bottom stuff. On the way out. All right. So that's our uh, episode for today. Yay. Thank you so Emma, much for having me. Emma, thank you so much for Anytime. coming by. And we will uh, see all you guys on Tuesday. Bye. <laughs>